So this is a pushrod system and there's no uh, strings in it. I've talked about this before on my channel. So if you guys are already subscribed, you've probably seen something a lot like this before. But the, what's kind of new about this one is just the form factor and the parts that I've used. But to quickly explain it to anyone who's not really seen it before, is you have these push rods that are attached to the wishbone um, pieces at the lower end towards the, the wheel hub. And when the suspension compresses, they push up into the body and they twist this rod. Now that rod's held stationary at the bottom of the vehicle. And by the way, this is the most simple way that I found to, to do this, to actually just mount the rod, um, the, the axle itself at a diagonal so that um, the lever points outwards and the lever needs to point outwards because when the system compresses, if it goes beyond that 90 degree um, connection between the push rod and the lever, then it's going to start pulling the uh, ball joint out of its socket because all of these fittings are like friction fittings. Lego is just really a bunch of um, rigid pieces and friction fittings. So bracing, have a good un having a good understanding of that is really important. And it's especially important for pieces like this or um, systems like this, because there's a lot of tension that really kind of wants to break apart from the inside uh, with, with uh, systems like this. If I do a quick drop test, you can see that it is really bouncy and it's surprisingly bouncy because when you think of uh, using a regular Lego axle for this kind of function, it's it's kind of strange. It's not something that you'd usually see. So anyways, um, hope you guys enjoyed that little demo. Um, I think I'll put some instructions and stuff up and a quick little drive test though will um, reveal a really <laughs> fatal flaw. So if I drive it forward, you can see the fact that there's no differential and that it's actually just using these bevel gears causes the it causes it to compress or inc uncompress when it's um when it's moving backwards and forwards and that's because you know when these gears kind of rotate each other and mesh uh, when it rotates one way um it's actually pushing you know it'll be pushing the the gear that's next to it up or down and that kind of translates into a uh, rotational movement but if that gear actually can move up or down, it like it will. So if you imagine the gears on a lever, it's gonna also rotate the lever. And that's kind of what's just happening here. Um, it's just kind of pushing it up, which moves the back of the car down like that, which is kind of a funny thing to watch, but it's not something that you would you would generally want as much of. And that's way too much movement. Um, but yeah, so so that's really it. Uh, I, th I thought it'd be kind of cool to just update you guys on what I've been working on.